Listen, about last night... You don't have to explain anything to me. Like you said, it's none of my business. I'm so sorry I said what I said. Get it. Look, please, wait. Look, my head is all over the place at the minute. Nothing happened with me and me. Michelle, I'm not interested. What you do and who you do it with is your look at. You get to work. I haven't come to pick up where we left off. <laughs> well, I'm, uh, I'm I'm glad to hear that. I just thought we couldn't leave things the way they were. <sighs> no. I hope you weren't offended by me. Yeah. By you? What? Knocking me back after we kissed? <laughs> no, I think the word is relieved, not offended. Not that you're not a decent. Uh, that's fine. I understand more. Well, maybe we can forget it ever happened, yeah? Yeah, well... Wasn't my finest hour. <laughs> no mine. Just hope I can square things with Leanne. <laughs> Funny enough, that's what I was trying to do last night. Come on, Michelle. You know, she made a mistake. You know, Don't lecture from... me, Nick. You going somewhere? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> well, once I've uh, chewed the fat with my old pal Leanne, I'm off to see Carla. Shall I give her your love? Yeah, didn't think so. Not as easy to forgive and forget as you thought, is it? Look, Nick, I have no beef with you at all. But Leanne, she deserves everything that's coming to her. Which college he's applied for? Oh, what I'd give to be in your Daniel's shoes. I mean, he's got the world at his feet. Uh, he's going to uni. He's not won the X Factor. <laughs> Careful, Trace. All them sour grapes will flatten the champagne. Oh, as if I'm jealous of Daniel. He should be studying ancient geek. Oxford did degrees in cynicism. He'd be a flaming professor. I just tell it how it is. Nothing. No. Do you know, I can't believe it left us on our own all night. It could be laid dead in a ditch somewhere for all I know. Oh, it might be the best place for both our fellows. Oh, why? What's he done now? Oh, it's probably nothing. It's, you know, if I had a fiver for every time I said that about Peter, I'd be very rich. Where have you been? Hey, look, uh, I'm sorry. Nick, I have been worried sick. Yeah. Why did you go last night? I didn't mean to put you through it. I just wasn't thinking straight. No, you weren't. I need some time. Uh, Time to sort things out. It doesn't excuse making you worry, but I can see things more clearly now. Well, God, because we can't carry on like this. Look, I know it's been really tough for you, yeah, but... it has. Yeah, if I won't pretend, and I'm angry, and when I get angry, I make mistakes like I did last night. I can see what's important now. So, uh, if Steve wants access to Oliver, I can live with that. Really? Really, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I love you. I love my son. Oh, come here. <sighs> Coffee a minute, mate. Leon in there. Why, do you ask? Well, I'm just uh, off to see Carla. I thought I'd say a proper goodbye before I left. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. You don't want to do that. Don't I? They've treated me worse than a dog. Why should I behave any better? Because it isn't who you are. Look, I just want... Something to... that you can't have. And... Yes, that's... That's heartbreaking. I know. But telling Leanne you slept with Nick is not going to help not one tiny bit. I didn't. He came back and we kissed. Right. So that was it. Just a bit of a drunken fumble and you both thought better of it. Or was it just the one of you? <laughs> I see. He bailed on you, did he? Well, as bombshells go, that's, uh... It's not gonna make much of a bang, is it? I was 
really worried, you know. I nearly went to the police. I feel so stupid. Yeah, well, so you should. But you're here now. That's all that matters to me. I was in a bad place last night. We ordered then now, Grandad. I'm starving. I must admit, that centrepiece is looking more appetising by the second. We need to wait for Daniel and Peter. Uh, stuff, Peter. I'd rather he didn't come. No, he's just texted he's going to be late. Oh, what's he say? What you were going to tell me before? No, um, no, it's just uh, one of his um, regulars is having a bit of a tough time, so he's going to call in on him. <laughs> he's a taxi driver, not a psychotherapist. All right, he's worried about him. It sounds rather fishy to me. He's just trying to help. Mm. He's always trying to help himself, generally. To women, booze, money, whatever he can get his hands on. Uh, what's all this? Ah! Oh, I know you've got an announcement to make, so I thought I'd give you the right platform. No, no, don't know what you're talking about. Oh, one thing I've learned is you can't keep secrets in a community like this. Honey, Beth. Well, I'm not at liberty to say who, but somebody has told me you're off to pastures new. News travels fast. Oh, you mean the new place? No, early days. We're not going anywhere yet. And it hardly justifies champagne. <laughs> Nonsense. If a place at Oxford doesn't call for a celebration, I don't know what does. Oxford. And Coronation Street will be back in half an hour. string me along when this whole time you were just going to leave us? I wasn't stringing you along. Yeah, you were. You never said a word to me about any of this. You lied to me. This is a wonderful opportunity for him, Sinead, with an Oxford degree. Shut up! Sinead! All I want is what's best for you. Oxford could help Well, it's not going to happen, is it? Because I'm turning it down. You can't be serious. Daniel! Chances like this are a once in a lifetime. Wait! Is anyone having a starter? Look, can you call me when you get this? I'm starting to get a bit worried. Oh, yes, the waste recycling department's in a complete state when I uh, took over. Right. I mean, there was no coherent policy for mixed plastics, while uh, food waste recycling was practically non-existent. Well, it's alive and well in here. <coughs> this lettuce looks like it's been around the block a few times. Where's my dad? Uh, he left a while back. I assumed he was looking for you. You're right. <sighs> I've had better days. So's your father. He was so proud of you today. This means a lot to him. Yeah, well, why doesn't he go to Oxford then? Me? I'm sick of people pressurising me. Well, why did you apply then if you don't want to go? Things are different now. I don't want to lose Sinead. <laughs> oh, come off it. You've only been going out five minutes. Hey, listen, you could go to Oxford, right, and bag yourself a millionaire's daughter, and then we'd all be quids in. Do you think that's helpful? It's a point of view. Oh, come on, Amy. Let's go. You've got school tomorrow. Can't we stay a bit longer? No, the show's over. Hey, hold on. What about your share of the bill? Take it up with my dad. This was his brilliant idea. Uh, look, mate, um, it was me who talked about you getting the place. I'm, I'm sorry. Why did you interfere? Well, I just I assumed he knew. And to be honest, it's probably for the best he does. Hopefully he can talk you round. Why does everybody think they know what's best for me? And I wish the people would just leave me alone. Believe me, being left alone's overrated. I've been there. Trying to catch the milkman in hope of conversations, no way to live. Here, let's get you some more of this. You look like you could do with it. Mark, I don't want another round. Well, believe it or not, neither do we. We need to uh, sort out your access to one another. Are you all right with this? No, no, I'm not. But we are where we are. We need to do the best by him, OK? Totally, yeah. So we were thinking maybe a couple of days a week? Yeah, great. OK, so what are you thinking? What, from Friday or...? Yeah, that's a good a day, Zanny. Uh, as long as he's back by six for his bath. That's understood. Well, I can bath him in. All right, he needs routine. Fine, yeah, six, it is. Thanks for being so reasonable. Right, see you Friday, then. Yep. Uh, I saw Michelle before. She's going to be staying at Carnes. What did she say? For how long? No. 
But uh, the way she was talking, she might not come back at all. Night. That was the estate agent. Oh, the one with the sexy voice. I wish I'd have answered the phone. <laughs> Gavin. What? No, Gavin. Naomi's who I speak to. Does that mean you're not pining over Michelle? Yes, of course, I'm still pining over Michelle. The only reason we're selling is to give her what she's owed in our divorce settlement, isn't it? Anyway, he rang because he wants to send somebody around to see the pub. <sighs> well, we've sort of promised it to Peter, haven't we? You know, he is a mate. Kind of feel we've got a giving first refusal. It's a woman, cash buy, no chain. All right, send her around. Bye bye. Oh. I hate it when we have to hand him back. And, uh, well, of course, I'm starting all this with Amy. Oh, I know. Hey, and before you slope off for the day, we've got another viewing later. Place is a tip. I don't go overboard. Smells a baby sick. I know, but what I mean is we've already got a buyer, haven't we? And anyway, I can sense that the plates may be shifting. Yeah, the plates need shifting from the dishwasher. I mean, now Michelle has spent some time with Carl, you know, had time to think, put things into perspective, that, you know, we might not have to sell. When they say the plates are shifting, doesn't that mean there's about to be a massive earthquake? <clears throat> Hey, how long's your break supposed to be? We've been flat out. These tables didn't set themselves. Hey, have you seen this? Hmm? What? Someone's making Michelle smile. It's about Michelle? Um, only saying that she's coming back tomorrow. Brought your uh, invoice. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, she's obviously moved on, then. Mm, not necessarily. I mean, she's still got a wedding ring on. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, she has, hasn't she? Hey! What are you doing here? I'm waiting for a pint of lager. I thought, uh, Cheshire Haven were coming out there. No, I don't want any pint in there. Why? Well, do I look like somebody would see one of them stupid magazines? Could be free publicity, though, know, couldn't it? Think about it. While Sally climbs the ladder in the town hall, I've been climbing different ladders. Plug, plug. No, it's not me. Anyway, I don't want an army of spotty teenagers launching some cyber attack on me. Go over, whack on a T-shirt, streetcar's logo, bosh. She's stirring up a hornet's nest, mate. I've told you, I don't want any pie. Oh, God. I'm winding you up. Lager? Yes, lager. Yeah, well, I, I understand it's last minute, but could you just stop him from coming? Because technically we've accepted an opt- Sorry, could you just hold no, on a sec? No, no. we haven't exchanged with Peter and Toya yet. Don't put people off. Well, I'm just putting it on the back burner until I speak to Michelle. It's all on the end. Hello? Are you still there? Yes. Yes, we definitely um, want to put it on hot. Hey, mate, cheers. Thank Keep you. the change. Oh. Hey, hey, Michelle. Hey, you looking here like a bad lady. <laughs> I'm just uh, throwing myself into the wedding planning for now. Mm. That's the last thing you want when you go through a messy divorce. <laughs> messy divorce. Yeah, well, you know, until I get some money out of Steve, what's a girl to do? Anyway, enough about him. Who's that bloke you're all over on those pictures online? Bloke? Hey, when you were with Carla, we all saw. Oh, oh no, I'll be barking up the wrong tree there, love, now. Oh. He's, uh, that's um, Fit Frankie, mm. Carla's new gay busy. <laughs> oh, he looked like a right screen. <laughs> yeah, he was. He had a massive... Tattoo of Adela. Oh, <laughs> and every time he wiggled his shoulder blades, it looked like she was blinking. That's amazing. <clears throat> I'm working. Looks like it. So, uh, the break, did you good? Oh, Robert, I'm so sorry for the way I treated you before I left. There's no need to behave like that. It's fine, forget it. Anyway, I just want you to know I'm in a much better place now. 
Of course you are. You're in my bistro. <laughs> anyway, we're mates, and uh, mates can put up with him. Yeah, mates. All right. Oh, think they're all me. Just a bit whacked. We're full on at the factory. Are you sure? Of course. Don't you worry about me. You know it's perfectly normal to be having second thoughts about the wedding, don't you? Well, I must be abnormal then, because I'm not. Just feel a bit under the weather, that's all. OK, well, if you are getting cold feet, it's never too late to pull out. Out of what? Some wedding planner you are. What the hell do you think you're playing at? And what I want to know is why you're trying to talk my fiance out of marrying me. She wasn't. I really wasn't. Oh, pull the other one, Michelle. It's got bells on. Hey, but I'll tell you this, Mark. Just let me explain. They're not wedding bells. <laughs> Look, he seems distracted, out of sorts. Oh, right. And so you thought you'd stick your oar in, nice one. No, I just thought I'd see if he was OK. Jenny, give her a break, love. It's, it's perfectly normal to get cold feet around about now. Great businesswoman you are. No wonder you get naff all work. Uh, everything all right? Does he look it? Jenny. Just because your husband did the dirty on you does not give you the right to go around splitting other couples up. You're ridiculous. No. No, I'll tell you what's ridiculous. Me thinking you were up to doing this job. There's no need for that. I'm a good wedding planner. And my name's Kirita Kanawa. Johnny, have you got cold feet? Of course not. You're fired, love. Didn't realise I was hired. Potato, potato. <laughs> now, I'm sorry, but some of us have got to get back to actual paid work. I'm so sorry, love. What is she on? Love's not up with your dad, that's all. He just seems a bit flustered. Well, I'd be flustered if Bride Hill Jenny was forcing me into marriage. Can't get anything right, can I? Hey, that's not true. I was a fool to think I could jump straight back into this job. Especially when I'm going through a messy divorce. No, I was only joking when I said that. What am I going to do, though? No pub to run, no clients to look after. Nothing. Well, something will turn up. Yes, but when, Robert? Anyway, don't either of you two fret about me. We can't help it. No, I'll be fine. Maybe I should try talking to Jenny. See if she'll change her mind. I don't do anything just yet. I might have a better idea. Have you seen Nick? I'm just going to sleep. Sorry. No, sorry, I don't know where he is. Uh, look, I've been thinking. We still haven't managed to find a replacement for Steph for your maternity cover. Well, just call the job centre. So I'm offering it to Michelle. Well, she's back. Yeah, she is, yeah. Well, is there nobody else on the planet who could do it? This isn't really a consultation. So what is it, then? You're telling me. I'm asking you to pass the message on to Nick. Look, I know I'm on maternity leave, but Exactly. You... So there's no reason for you two to be in each other's faces. And it's not like she can work in the pub anymore, is it? Please, give the girl a break. Well, I'll save you the trouble. Don't bother coming back. According to our ex-relief waitress, I am, well, very uncool, always to that effect. I'll get on to the agency. While you're at it, might want to see if they've got a decent candidate for Leanne's cover. If you've something to say, Nick. If? I mean, you've deliberately gone out of your way to make things difficult for her. What? How? How would Michelle working here make life difficult for Leanne? She's not even going to be around. You know what I mean. All I know is that we haven't had a decent temp since Leanne went on maternity leave, and Michelle would be brilliant. Right. Don't care. Don't want her here. And we both know the reason, don't we? I mean, the real reason. It's got nothing to do with Leanne feeling awkward. It's about you. What? I know you went back to Michelle's. Right. Nothing happened. Tell that to Leanne, did you? That new waitress just texted me, and I'm not even going to tell you what she called you. <laughs> just to be clear, I'm offering the job to Michelle. And if she wants it, it's hers. Well, I do hope you're here to tell me that the sale's gone through. Oh, uh, no. Uh, no, I'm not. 
What do you want, then? Um, well, uh, the thing is, um, I've arranged for us to go and see a counsellor. You know, like a marriage guidance counsellor. <laughs> I'm sorry, is this a joke? Oh, I know you're hurting yourself. <laughs> do you know what? Oh, wow. Wow, just when I think you can't be any more ridiculous. But then again, you were always big on surprises, weren't you? I know I deserve everything that you decide to throw at me, but I just can't let us go, Michelle. Mm, well, maybe you should have thought of that before you announced you'd had a kid with someone else. Well, there was never going to be a good time for that, was there? Rory had been dead five minutes. But hey, I mean, what did that matter? Because you already had a replacement, didn't you? You know what, Michelle, that's not fair. I'm the one that had to live with the guilt. Yeah, and I had to live with the pain. Yeah, well, I'm in pain too. Good. Look, I just don't... No, you destroyed me, Steve. I'd like you to go. Look, Michelle, you were everything to me. Ah, oh, everything. Not quite everything. I just don't want to let you go. Well, it's too late, Steve. No, you know what, Michelle, no. No, it's not too late. Look, just... Come to the counselling, because you know what? I reckon that me and you would be all right in the end. Look, the, the appointment's at 2.30. Bro. Uh, no, you're all right. I just uh, popped out before the lunchtime rush starts. Um, with some good news, actually. Oh? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to say... That there's a, I mean, if if you want it, there's a job for you at the bistro. Seriously. <laughs> what have Nick and Leanne said about that? Uh, they're fine. Yeah. So the balls in your coat. Can I let you know? Oh right. I thought. Uh, um, yeah. No, no yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I I'm, I'm, I am grateful. Honestly, it's just. Well, <clears throat> Steve was here. He wants us to go for marriage counselling and he's got in my head and I can't oh, really think Yeah, of... yeah, no, absolutely. So are you, are you, are you going to go? <laughs> if you'd asked me that this morning, I'd have laughed in your face. So what did he say to make you change your mind? Hmm. Well, you know Steve. So do you. Sorry. Ever since I found out about her and the baby, there's been more questions than answers, and I'm just exhausted by it. But what if he's right? And what if, for once, he's right? Uh, well, then... You should go. To be honest with you, when he was stood there talking about counselling, part of me wanted to hit him and part of me... I don't know. Maybe you need to hear what he has to say. What to say, he acted badly is an understatement, but... Do I think he... regrets what happened with Leanna? Yeah. Yeah, I do. After everything that's happened, I'm, I'm not sure being sorry is going to be enough. It's a start, though, isn't it? You've changed your tune. No. I just want you to be happy. Steve. He made you happy. You know, before. Maybe you could again. Yeah, maybe. So you... You go to the... Well, I... I better be getting back.
Thanks for the job offer. Goodbye. didn't turn up, that surely means that... Well, maybe it was just too soon. Oh, Steve, just because you want things to be all right, well, it doesn't mean they're going to be. I know. I know, but... You know, I could just see in her eyes that there was still something there, you know? Hey, how about I make you a nice cup of tea? She will come back to me, you know. She will. Oh, hi. Hey. Um, I thought, I thought you were going to the counselling session. Right. You said you just want me to be happy. Even if it meant me going back to Steve. Uh, well, uh, yeah. If that's, if that's what you really wanted. I care about you. Why? What do you mean, why? <laughs> Why'd you care? Uh, well, you... You know why. I need to hear you say it. Sure. Please. Because I love you. Street continues in half an hour. <sighs> well, that was uh... amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I was going to say unexpected, but um, yeah, amazing that works. <laughs> Do you know what I'd really like? Someone to just come and tell me what to do about everything. No, no, you wouldn't. Listen, I, I know we're not on the same page right now. And I'd be lying if I said there wasn't a tiny voice at the back of me head telling me to walk away. Self-preservation, I guess. So why didn't you? <laughs> well, the thing is, I never had a choice as to whether or not I loved you. Only whether or not I told you. And now I've told you. Robert. You're not, you're not there, yet. <laughs> I know, I know that. But if 
you search in Francis? I guess the million dollar question is, can you ever see a time when you want to be with me as much as I want to be with you? I always say time is everything, don't they? <laughs> don't they just? What do you want? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, listen, maybe, um, maybe you do need to go through with the marriage counselling. What? No. No. Look, I watched him get into his cab and I just couldn't do it. Well, you're still angry with him. Maybe you're trying to punish him. But... I imagined myself sat there listening to him trying to make everything right and i just knew i knew i just i couldn't go back there oh look michelle the, the physical thing is it's easy it's so easy but if we're gonna do this you and me i need to know that the past really is the past I'm, I'm not just a, a backup. Don't say that. I need to know if we get together that you've dealt with what happened between you and Steve. And that I'm... I'm the man you want. You are. Are you sure? More sure than I've been about anything for a very long time. <laughs> I don't know. I'll tell them the truth, won't I? I've been uh, working on a new dish. <laughs> well, I'll see you later. Yeah, I'd like that. I feel like I'm about to do the walk of shame. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll go first if you like. No, I don't care who sees us. So, uh, about the job? I'm not afraid if you are. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. So, this is why you didn't come. Why I was in his flat is none of your business. Why? Well, flipping stupid, I think we know why. Oh, and very clever. Yeah, very clever, by the way. First of all, the old sympathetic ear, then the shoulder to cry on. Oh, and let's not forget the hero who came to rescue you when you went missing. And Don't now... make yourself look ridiculous, Steve. I think you've already done that. I think you both need to calm down. You couldn't even be bothered to go off the street. <sighs> You'd know about that. You've got the nerve to criticise me! You had sex with another woman and then you lied over and over again. Well, that's all right, isn't it? Because that's what you do. It's what you've always done. I lied because I love you. Oh, you keep telling yourself that, Steve. Go see your son, then. This is just a rebound thing. You know that, don't you? Actually, it's quite pathetic. Enjoy your play date. And you can tell your girlfriend that I've changed my mind. She wants half of everything. She'll have to fight me for it every step of the way. Tell yourself. Ooh, steady on, Chef. <laughs> How are you getting on? Um, yeah, well, I got as far as the starters. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll have my head round it by tomorrow. It's just that today it's a bit full of... Steve? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. And listen, Michelle, if, if you need some space... No, no, it's not that. I just want that at all. I mean, it is to do with Steve, but, you know, I'm not brooding yeah. or sad. I've got a new job. Now I've got you. I'm really lucky, I know that. But? No, no buts. Not about that, anyway. 
In fact, it's the first time in a long while that I've actually felt in control. Well, that's good news. Mm. Yeah, it is. For me. Not so good for Steve. I want what's mine, Robert. And if he's going to go back on what he promised, then he's going to have a hell of a fight on his hands. Where is he? Who? Steve. Why, what's up? Here we go. Talk of the devil. What do you want? That's easy. You out of my life. Well, I'm going nowhere. All right, then. Well, I'll just settle for that divorce we talked about and half of everything. This is down to you, this is. Don't underestimate her. Yeah, it won't be the first time. But do you know what? You're right. It is partly down to Robert. We both know this is just you getting back at me. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, you think highly of yourself, don't you? Unlike you, I reckon. Oh, no, Steve, on the contrary. Because I know you don't deserve me. I just don't understand how I didn't see it before. And as for him, he's twice the man you'll ever be. What, the kind of man that has sex with a woman wearing another man's wedding ring? Eh? That kind of man. If you didn't still want to be married to me, you wouldn't be wearing it. You want to know why I wear it, eh? To remind me of how much I hate you for what you did to me. To remind me that you lay next to me while I cradled our son, knowing full well that another woman was going to give birth to your child. He meant something to me, this ring. But you know what? The only thing that matters to Steve MacDonald is Steve MacDonald. So here, he might want to keep hold of that. Because you believe me. If you decide to go back on your word and fight me, you're going to need all the help you can get. You took her on? Uh, it was Robert's idea. But you waved it through. I don't know, I might wave it through, but I don't know, you're on maternity leave. And... So what happens when I get back? Are you going to get rid of her? Well, we'll cross that bridge, won't we? Look, the one thing about Michelle is she's got experience. Mm. She's only doing it because she's on the rebound. Right then, come on, mister, let's get you dressed. Come on. <laughs> and um, table seven, eight, and nine over there, although that has been known to change. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I mean, I saw it coming. How? Every time she came in, there was like this... Oh, I don't know what you'd call it. Sexual chemistry. <laughs> it was powerful, man. It was like electricity. Do you like romantic comedies? No, what are you trying to say? Hey, something better we could be doing, gents? No wonder he hired her then. Daniel was just saying about No, her. I wasn't. Right, we hired her. We. And our recruitment policies, none of your business. So she's coming straight in as manager, is that right? All right. What do you want her to do? Work her way up? Wash the dishes? Come on. Work. That touched a nerve. Yeah, didn't it just? Uh, yeah, well, I think that's, uh, that's about everything. So, any questions? Mm-hmm. What time do you get off? <laughs> <laughs> I think they were talking about was over there. So? Let them talk. Oi, stop it. <laughs> I'll put you on the cleaning roster. You're damn right, I will. I want to take him for the lot and the innocent party, eh? Yeah, it's the 21st of April, 1976, which makes me... <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't care what it's going to cost. I'll find the money. Yeah, and if they do try being sneaky, I mean, don't forget, you did sleep with another woman behind my back and got her pregnant. Got a child together, I mean, come on. Right, go on then. What are we doing, Rob? Well, why is there not a separate lunchtime than you? Do you know what? I've been saying that since I got here. Mm, people don't always want an expensive lunch, do they? They want 
you know, light bites, something tasty but a bit cheaper. Nick and Leanne out voting me. What do you reckon, Zidane? Shouldn't we have a separate lunchtime menu? You know, like, I don't know, two courses for eight ninety-five or something. Yeah, who doesn't love a light bite? <clears throat> hey, yeah. You asked them if everything's all right with their meals. Well, let us know if it isn't, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, but you know how to do it, though, don't you? You wait for the split second everyone's got their mouths full and bang, you go on it. <laughs> you do that on purpose? <laughs> so, I've decided on the new lunch menu. Oh, this again? I thought we decided against it. Uh, yeah, well, I canvassed Daniel's and Zidane's opinions and, uh, and Michelle's as well. <laughs> All right, see. Look, Kevin Webster felt his bill was too steep this afternoon and do you know what? I couldn't help agreeing with him. People want lighter stuff. They don't want monkfish and linguine. Look, I think we should try and get along. <laughs> yeah, I think that ship sailed, darling. Well, we should at least try and be civil to each other. Leanne, you broke up my marriage. You ruined my life. But you bounced back quick enough. Yeah, well, you see, unlike Steve MacDonald, Robert wouldn't be seen dead in your bed. He was seen very much alive in Carla's. Mm. But then, you know, maybe Nick couldn't satisfy her. I made the effort here, remember that. Because there'll be no more second chances. See you in five months. Hi, welcome to Nick's Bistro. You got a reservation? Mr. McDonald? Yeah, got something for you. Ah, right. Is it me a golden ticket from Willie? Get, divorce papers? Oi, you could have flipping warned me. Hey, hey, hey! See, I had an art condition. Dude! Aye! Only me. Mm. Flipping Tony Blair might have known it'd all come back to him. He's a lawyer, isn't he? We always stick together. Eh? I mean, what is wrong with a no fault divorce? If I was in Scotland, I wouldn't be accused of being a criminal. Oh, whatever. Um, Steve, do you know where that folder is? You know, with all Amy's vaccination stuff in? Uh, the juice and jabs at school. It's the uh, pink. One. Oh, so. Oh, yeah, cheers. Right, well, I'll land this batch here next week. Mm, where are you going again? Peak District. When? Tonight. Steve, um. Does Amy seem quieter to you or rattier? Well, she misses Michelle, doesn't she? But she hasn't mentioned anything about Adam or this police business. Right, he's a solicitor, isn't he? Yeah, who's been arrested for attempted murder. Well, I'll be out soon, Peter reckons. Look, if I could just get a professional opinion off it. Oh, Steve! Oh, look, I'm sorry, I've just not really been sleeping much. Oh, um, by the way, I found this in the back of a drawer. Do you remember that? Oh, <laughs> yeah, Windermere, eh, hey, now. That is a nice place for a long weekend. Yeah. She was chasing ducks. It was hilarious. <laughs> We've done all right, haven't we? The two of us. I mean, she's never wanted for out. Joking, aren't you? She's been double spoiled. Except she's not a brat. Well, yeah, but, you know, I mean, she was amazing. She whipped my ass over this whole Oliver thing. Took her advice a lot more than she's taken mine. No, she's great. She's my little buddy. I'll take good care of her. Mm-hmm. Oh, you, you can keep that. See, you have got a heart there somewhere. Oh, thank you. But don't go spreading that about because I've got a reputation to think of. <laughs> right, uh, see ya. Hmm. You haven't gotten to work with wet air. I'm sorry, I just, I, I don't have a hairdryer. Well, I'm surprised, to be honest. I mean, Steve had very little air to dry, but you. I've got a natural way, what can I say? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can't you just spit yours up from the flat? Well, I would, but Maria broke it. Can you believe that? It's not like she's a hairdresser around, is it? Right, well, I'll buy you a new one. I want you to have everything you need at mine. Actually, I've got a spare one at the Rovers. Need to go and collect the rest of my stuff anyway. Well, I can do that if you like. That's OK, I'll do it on my break. But Steve will have got the divorce papers by now. He might not be very receptive. That's no, tough, isn't it? He's got to accept this is happening. I've moved on. 
Right, uh, sorry, mate. It's nearly time to hand you over to Bad Drop. I don't know why we're out when we've got a fridge full of food. Well, you deserve a treat. I don't need molly coddling. Anyway, what's wrong with me getting my wife to buy me lunch? Right, I'll have Brussels. Yeah, me too. I'm afraid that we've run out. Um, but the seafood risotto is, as the menu says, to die for. Personally, I don't think that's the right choice of words to use where food's concerned, particularly seafood, but what do I know? Well, we'll have the risotto. You won't be sorry. And you almost certainly won't die. Right, muffed it, Bog. Well, maybe we could use another cab firm. Hey, there is only one trustworthy, reliable and reasonable cab firm around here. I've, um... Cancel the delivery service. You what? Steve's fault. He's too unreliable. What if I took over? No, I'm sorry, mate. It's too late. I made the decision. You can tell your partner it's thanks to him. Um, talking of Steve. Oh, you need to go and pick up your stuff, yeah? Yeah, I know, but we're really busy, aren't we? Oh, it's fine. Daniel can handle it. It's good training for him. OK, walk me along. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's right, get some menus. A bit busy. I've just seen Adam. Where? In the cafe talking to your dad. They've released him? Oh, obviously, yeah. What was he saying? That Tracy set him off. He, he was really angry. He shouldn't be allowed anywhere near my dad. I'm sure Ken can take care of himself. He's still fragile. Aren't we all? Uh, not on a break. Sorry, I was just leaving. Seen you in here for a bit? Yeah, I've been visiting Steph in Portugal. Oh, yeah. See. Really well. Running a beach bar, dating a bloke with a yacht. True. And you? Not dating a bloke with a yacht. Ha! Huh. Not dating anyone. Hey, listen, you and Tracy splitting up. Best thing that ever happened to you, trust me. You're free. Kind of miss her. Steve. Divorce papers. Sign them. Thanks. I, I I just came to pick up the last of my stuff. Fine. Yeah. Before you say yes, I'm a free man and I am gagging for a pint. Sure. Listen, you don't know where that chase is taking Amy, do you? We try to call her, but she's not answering her phone. Yeah. No, sorry, mate. She must have given you an address. I think they just want to be left alone, do you know what I mean? Steve, I really need to know where they are. Well, they'll be back tonight. Yeah, so they say. What do you mean? They've lied to the police. They've done a runner. Oh, fuck, don't be daft. It's Tracy we're talking about. I know she's not going to do anything stupid where Amy's concerned. I agree. <laughs> this woman's caused you both nothing but grief, and you still defend her. She must be great in the sack. You're not going to tell me where she is, are you? Sorry. And Doing them? They're on you. No. I need to speak to Amy. I'm gonna try and answer the phone. It's never out of harm's just yet. Look, you said you thought Tracy had done a run. What would Tracy be running from? What do you think? <sighs> nah, look, they'll be back tonight. Amy's got school in the morning. Yeah, I'm gonna be so sure about that. No, I was exactly the same when I lost Paul. I think that you're coping and then. Something happens and you're right back to where you started. If I didn't have Robert, I don't know where it'd be. And you, obviously. Well, didn't like to say. Uh, what's that? Oh, uh, it's, it's nothing, don't worry about that. Why? What is it? Nothing. It's fine. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. Let me no, see no, it. Sorry. I was tired when I wrote that. Michelle, one, please, could you not leave the milk out on the counter? It should go back in the fridge. 
Look, you only did it once. Liam was playing up this morning and... Two, please, can you try not to use up all the hot water every time you have a shower? You weren't even in it for that long. Three, if you fill the washing machine, please, can you switch it on? It wasn't even a full load. I thought you might want to add to it. Ignore it, please. No, 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 it's fine. I'll, uh, I'll pin it up above my bed, eh? Michelle. That's fine. I hold my hands up. I'll try and do better. <clears throat> OK, one. Please, could you not leave the milk out on the counter? It should go back in the fridge. Back is in capital letters. I know what she means, though. I hate it when people leave the milk out. Two, please, can you try not to use up all the hot water every time you have a shower? And three, if you fill the washing machine, please, can you switch it on? What did you make of that? Um, I guess you better book up your ideas. <sighs> well, I can't say I blame her. I mean, she's got Liam to think about, and she... Did, uh, did get me thinking, though. About? Well, I mean, I, I could bring my hair dryer over. Or I could just move in. What? what uh, move in with me? Oh, jump the gun, haven't I? I'm so sorry. I was just thinking out loud. I uh, thought uh, you might. No. I no, just no, thought I... you might be into the idea, but I can tell by the look on your face that I've got that wrong. No, no, I, I, I'm into it. I, I'm just. I'm surprised, that's all. Why? Well, because six months ago I, I was completely in love with you, but you were. You were happily married and, and you're expecting a... Six months ago, I was married to a cheat. I'd love you to move in. I love you. Full stop. Oh. I love you too. Good. Mm. So, that's settled then? Yeah, it looks like it. We'll be all right, won't we? Yeah. I think so. I look forward to meeting the hairdryer. <laughs> I didn't think you'd have quite so much stuff. I you know, went through Maria's wardrobe, helped myself to pretty much anything I fancied. Yeah, but you didn't, all you. See her. Scorting me off the premises, making sure I've really gone. No, oh, no, I'm helping you. You got any top tips for Robert? Anything to add to my list of misdemeanors? You're never going to let me forget that one, are you? <laughs> Cheryl! <sighs> Drop this. You don't get far with one shoe. What are you going to do? Hop the rest of the day? <laughs> Cheers, love. Thank you. Why? Shacking up already, how romantic. Yeah, ain't she the lucky one? I wish I had a man about the house. Oh, for me, cohabiting is the beginning of the end. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Sean. <laughs> well, you know what you say. <laughs> Familiarity breeds contempt. No. What about homes where the heart is? You're right, go with that one. Yeah, ignore me. I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> so what's this then? Are you having a jumble sale? Eh, uh, no. Michelle's moving in with me. Well, you do know it's next day off. Of course, yeah. What, so you've left the bistro to run itself at lunchtime? Well, this will take five minutes, tops. Anyway, it wasn't busy. Robert, you're the boss. You don't have to justify yourself to her. So, shall I crack open the champagne? Celebrate Michelle moving in. Hey, look, sorry if I was a bit off before. I was just shocked, that's all. Shocked? Well, everything's moving so fast, isn't it? She's only just walked away from one relationship, and here she is walking straight into another. Uh, it's not really any of your business, Liam. Well, you're a mate. I, I just don't want to see you get her, that's all. No, it's clear to everybody she's on the rebound. I bet she hasn't got a clue what she wants. Oh, I'm sorry, but who are you to judge? You did exactly the same thing with Nick. He was marrying Carla, and next minute he's shacked up with you. Yeah, well, me and Nick, we had history, didn't we? And me and Michelle have already been through a hell of a lot together. Some pretty tough times, actually. You know, she was... Well, she was so low, you wouldn't believe. What do you mean? Uh, Robert, can I uh, can I have a word, please? Uh, yeah, sure. I don't want you telling me unpersonal things about me. I, I wasn't. What happened on that bridge is between you and me. It was private. I know. It's no one else's business, all right? And certainly not Cleon's. She doesn't know anything about it. Or I, I promise you, I have not told her. Oh, you were about to, weren't you? No. No, no, I, I wasn't. I was just trying to defend our relationship. Yeah, well, we don't have to explain ourselves to anyone, Robert. I don't want her or 
anyone else thinking bad of you. Hey, come on. You know you can trust me, don't you? Come here. Oh, well, you took... Sorry, I thought you might be Detective McKinnon. Is it about time? No. Take a seat. I couldn't really concentrate at work. Yeah, join the club. Plus, I... I thought you might need some company. Oh, look, I'm sorry about the other day. No, oh, forget it. I take it there's no news. Police just keep telling me they're doing everything they can. These things take time, Mr. McDonald. You have to be patient, Mr. McDonald. In other words, we haven't got a chuffing clue, Mr. McDonald. Look, this, this might be a stupid question, but why are the police involved? I mean, since when has it been a crime for a mum to take a, a kid away on holiday? Do they think she's hurt Ken? Steve, why is it you're not telling me? I'm not supposed to talk about it. Talk about what? Why are the police after Tracy? Steve! Okay, but they're not after Tracy. After Rob Donovan. Poached egg and avocado on toast sounds nice. Smashed avocado. It's got to be smashed. Sorry. Right, okay, we need fish. Uh, toasted bagel and smoked salmon. That's a classic. Done this before, haven't you? We're just kicking around some ideas for the new menu. Isn't it your night off? Yeah, I'm just finishing up. Blueberry pancakes drizzled with honey. Mmm. Scrambled eggs with chilli and cumin. Fish steak with coriander. Ah, brunch Pakistani style. Pomegranate fritters with saffron yogurt dip. Oh, that sounds quite tasty. Mm. Hey, I'll knock you a few things off if you like. OK, you're on. Excellent. Scrambled egg. Mm, fish too. It's got a real kick to it. Saffron yogurt, that's a new one on me. Yeah, it's delicious. So what'd you say? Um, yeah, I'd like to give some of these a go. <sighs> that's fantastic. So, well done. Mm, nice reward for giving up your night off, isn't it? Well, talking of reward, does this mean I get a promotion? <laughs> no, steady up, mate. I didn't say anything about that. Yeah, but if I'm having creative input, it doesn't mean you get an automatic leg up. That comes after all sorts of other things. Like what? Well, like proving you're an asset over a period of time. Uh, don't get me wrong, Z, you get brownie points for this. Yeah, totally. I'm knocked out. Yeah, me too, but a promotion? No, not right now. I'm sorry. They'll find her. Hello. Look at him. It's like he's got the weight of the world on his shoulders. Yeah. Tracy's got a lot to answer for. Um, you up for this wine tasting Friday? Friday. Uh no, I don't I don't I don't think I'll fancy that. Hey, look. Amy beyond but We'll be in need of a drink, probably. No, I'm sorry, no. Okay, fine. Bad idea, sorry. How long have you been up with him? Yeah, a few hours. I've just oh. been trying to get him off. He's dead to the world. I noticed. Sorry. Oh, I could have been bad an hour ago if you just turned up on time. I'm sure he'll be here soon enough. Or what's the point of making arrangements if he just turns up when he wants? All right, well, listen, you go back to bed and I'll deal with Steve. <laughs> no chance. I want a word with him when he gets here. Oh, come on, Nick. He's got a lot going on right now. All that business with Tracy and Amy, it can't be easy, can it? Mm. Oh. Mm. He's right, she's back. No. 
We've run out of medicine. Oh, give me a. I'll go and get some from the doctors later. Hello. Oh. Mm. Listen, I'll deal with Steve. I'll even give him a ticking off on your behalf if you want. Hiya. Uh, sniff about. Uh, he's in office. All right, cheers. Listen, I bumped into Alia this morning. I hope you said sorry. I can't believe the way you're treating Zidane. What? Well, taking on all his ideas and then not giving him any credit or reward. What does he want? A six-figure bonus at an MBA? Well, a little bit of acknowledgement would be nice. Did you know about this? What's it got to do with you anyway? You're on maternity leave. No, Michelle. Uh, excuse me, I am still part of this business, you okay, know. It's not a big deal. We can talk about it later. Wasn't he with Steve? Uh, I told him we could collect him later. What? Well, Steve's got a lot going on with Amy right now, so I said I'd keep all of it till tonight. Uh, is uh, Amy all right? You know, I should go around and see her later. Uh, yeah, I'll come with you for that. No, I'll be fine. We had an agreement. It's about nothing being late. Now we can't be bothered at all. Oh, Nick, come on. I just come in for a coffee, not an argument. <coughs> Things have been different. He could have been my grandson. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, I suppose he could have been. Hey, lucky for you, you've already got two amazing grandkids. <laughs> I know, and I am thankful for what I've got. Look, if ever you want to talk, I'm never far away, you know. Thank you, Leanne. I better get moving. I'm helping Billy at the community centre later. Right, bye. bye. What was that about? Oh, she was upset about Cal. All this business with Tracy and Coy's just brought it all back. Anyway, where did you disappear to? I had to have a word with Steve. What? Well, I had to be done. He's been pushing his luck lately. Nick, you had no right. Why not? Keep telling me Oliver's my son, too. Yeah, of course he is, but I already told you what I agreed with Steve. Ha <laughs> ha. You went straight off to sleep. I know you're upset. He's better here with us and, you know, get him back into his routine. Well, we could have had a good night's sleep, you know, a bit of time to ourselves. We still can, you know. I'll stay up all night if we wait. Yeah, well, it's not just about that, is it? It's about you picking a fight with Steve every chance you get. Yeah, I think I've done pretty well, considering. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, yeah. It's not easy, is it, you know, living under the shadow of your exes on this street? You know, if it's not Peter, it's Steve, and if it's not Steve, it's Carl, and he's not even alive. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, I just... I shouldn't have said that. You know what, right now, I don't even want to be in the same room as you, let alone think about marrying you. Am I best stopping here with him, then? Oh, it's just a rash. He's had it before. This medicine will shift it. I'll take him out. Use him to start a conversation with Peter. Don't start. Well, you're going to have to tell him you've had them embryos implanted. Yeah, well, I want to see if it's worked first. When will that be... So, um, just text me if you need out. Oh, where are you going? I'm going shopping. No, 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 we're, we're going to have breakfast together and then I'm taking you out. And... Well, Steve's having Oliver. Steve? Yeah, I want to saw him. He's happy to have him all day and, uh, well, he knows about the rash and he's going to keep his eye on it. So you don't need me? Uh, yeah, we do. No, 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 we don't, thanks. Look, I'll tell you what, just, um, text me if you do, yeah. Sorry, Tyler. No, that's all right. See you, see you later. I'm sorry for saying the things I did. Mentioning Cal was crass. Please. Taking the morning off work, I thought we could just hang out, you know, go shopping, have a Bellini. Smile. Look, if you really need me to come in. No, I said, if you need a day off, we'll manage. We don't look very happy about it. Uh, uh, it's just a bit short notice, that's all. Well, I didn't sleep. I'm sorry if I didn't plan that ahead. Sorry, I just really need to have a quiet day today. Okay. Yeah, and I've said it's fine. Go, go back to bed. I'll see you later. Damn right, your book cover. Oh, Wally. 
Would you not rather stay with your grandma? <laughs> yes, you would. <laughs> <laughs> no, because we are going on a little adventure, in we? Eh? Get some sand between our toes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I found his medicine in the bathroom cabinet from the last time he had that rash, so I'll put it in his bag, just in uh, case you need it. Thank you very much. All right, come on then, let's get you strapped in. Bye-bye. Bye, Grandma. Oh. Um, does a bladder pop like what a balloon pops? What? Well, I know, I know the stretchy and everything, but you see, I've had these and I'm going to have another one. And when Carly was pregnant... Is Liz on? Uh, yeah, she's um, doing what all good Rover's landladies do and she's serving Betty's finest hot pot. Blimey, did you knock that last one over? Hot pot! Where's Steve? Uh, he's out. Why? Taking Ollie B to the beach, has he? Ollie B? What's his middle name again? I'm not talking about his middle name. And what's it stand for, though? Why did you want to see him? Which beach has he gone to, Liz? I'm not sure. Same again? Uh, yeah, and a uh, whiskey chaser, please. I will tell him you were looking for him. The B's only B in Steve's head, as in Plan B. Back up, baby. Service. What's up with you? Robert, it's always catchy when we're understaffed. Yeah, and the surlier he gets, the more we do this. Uh, can you two not hear me, or what? Hot pot. Oh, I thought you were going back to bed. Service, now, please. Hot pot. Yeah, Betty's. I've written down what I remember of the recipe. We'll work the rest out. Betty's hot pot belongs in the rollers. No, it belonged to Betty. I knew her for years, so it'd be our tribute to her. Yeah, but they'd, they'd be furious at a custom business. Oh dear, what a shame. She gets a damn on it. Give you another dose. That rash hasn't cleared up, has it? Uh, no. I'm doing it, ain't I? <clears throat> Oh, I know, Angel. Yeah, don't worry. I'll get you home now. And chips. They're coming. And ketchup and mayonnaise. Boy, Daniel, lose a sour face. We're celebrating here. Aren't you pleased that I'm home? Delighted. Uh, what time's your break? Oh, what's up? What's happened? Nothing. I, I don't know. If, uh, days pass and we don't talk about things. I, I think we need to try harder. Is this a random existential crisis, or are you actually on about something specific? We get up, we go to work, we come home, we have tea, and nothing gets dealt with or said. You know what I'm on about. OK, just will you give me two minutes? I'm just serving. Right, come on, then. What do you think? Does it need more herbs? Oh, is that straight out of the oven? <laughs> Oi! I'm not serving up, pot. Can you stop this now? Water. Stop what? Who are you trying to kid? This is not to do with our business. It's about Steve. You reckon? Mind reader now, are you? All right, OK, yes, you're right. We have got into a routine. So let's go away. Escape. Uh, move away. What? We can't just up stakes. Why not? What about Oxford? I'm thinking about it when I was going to study there. What's the difference? You would have come, wouldn't you? Well, yeah, but... But what? Family? It's just a couple of hours on a train. And anyway, who needs them? Sticking their nose in everywhere. We get new jobs, we make new friends. I mean, don't you just want to chuck it all in and start somewhere new, just the two of us? When, though? Well, why wait? Today. Today? Right, OK, we'll go for a week, stay. Check it out, with a view to going more permanently. Oh, come on. Take a risk. Say yes. OK, yes. <laughs> How's it been? Oh, we had a great time, didn't we? 
How's his rash? It's uh, got a lot better. Where did you go? Sorry? Where did you take that baby? That baby? Right, wait a again. Have you been drinking? It was the beach, wasn't it? Where Rory's ashes are. I wanted to go there today. What was stopping you? You! You stopped me! Can you imagine how I'd have felt? Turning up, seeing you stood on the sand, showing plan B, the sight. You couldn't just let me out today, could you? Not even just today. If you'd have said something... This close. This close to saying we should go there together in spite of everything you've done to me. Well, you didn't, though, did no, you? No, I didn't, because I saw you putting him in the car. Sure. Taking that baby to Rory's Beach on what would have been his birthday. I know what day it is. Birthday. You couldn't let it just be Rory's day, could you, eh? Who was your due date? <laughs> this was all about Rory. Oliver is his brother. I want Rory part of my life, so... No, I... Steve. This is Rory's day. Oliver's got every other day for his life. <laughs> Shake it. Shouldn't we let him sleep? And let his rash come back? No. Come on, Oliver. Time to have some medicine. Come on. I need your syringe here. Oh, tap. Oliver. Oliver. Nick. What? He's not waking up. Is he breathing? <sighs> yeah, just. It's all right. It's all right. Don't oh, worry. God, I'll ring no. him up. It's okay. It's okay. I'll ring him up. <laughs> we'll be back to the street in half an hour. for hours last night. Why didn't you wake me up? It's my own fault, really. I shouldn't let myself go there. Imagine today. That it could have been so different. Labour without... <sighs> without that... dread without knowing that at the end there'd be nothing. No life. Hey. You're allowed to keep grieving. You're allowed to be sad. You're allowed to be angry. Furious if you need to. And what changes? Rory's still dead. while Steve's baby gets to go on day trips to that beach. Make it an, make it an annual tradition. Get to know each other. Oliver making castles with his little fucking spade out of sand and my baby's ashes. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, look at me, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not quite so attractive as there is self-pity. <laughs> I know I've been really weird this week, I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop apologising. <sighs> you okay? I wish I'd known about the date. I said, Quan, you get out. Sure, sure they need you out there. Nick's not coming in at all now. Oh, for God's sake. I'll just let Daniel go. And that was Les that phoned. Apparently they've taken Oliver into hospital. What? What's happened? They don't know. Steve's been summoned. Oh, no. Look, Michelle. It was grizzly this morning. Yeah, but then he settled when we gave him something. What did you give him? Um, an antihistamine. The doctor prescribed it. Uh, we brought the bottle. So he settled and then what? Uh, well, Steve had him after that. Steve? Uh, Oliver's dad. And did Steve say he was concerned about Oliver at all? Well, he's on his way now. You can ask him when he gets here. He's going to be all right, isn't he? 
We're doing everything we can. Let us know when the father gets here. <laughs> Still no news. Steve will only just be getting to the hospital, won't he? Michelle, I've got to be honest. I really don't think here is the right place for you just now. I just need to know that Oliver's okay. He's not really tight, is he? Why? What did you notice? Well, the rash. No, he's had that rash before. Well, that's what I thought. But then the medicine, that clears it up, doesn't it? You gave him medicine? Yeah. What medicine? He's, he's left over from last time. He's had to use to me. Yes. Well, when? When, Steve? Before we went out and again when we were there, I told you. No, you didn't. I did, didn't I? Michelle started kicking off. I need to let the doctor know. Oh, we've not overdosed him, have we? You've overdosed him. I can stay here tonight just to keep an eye on him. But it will be OK. Yes, we don't anticipate any long-term effects. Can we see him? I want to talk to you first, make sure we're clear on how to prevent this happening again. We should have told you what we'd give him. Oh, I should have asked you. Wouldn't have happened if he wasn't passed back and forth. Well, you were the one who said Steve should have him today. It's all our fault, it's not just his. The most important thing is communication, especially if there's medication being given. Wait, what happened again? Can I see him, please? Of course. When it rang, I thought... Yeah, me too. I thought it was happening again. Like a punishment. It was um, Rory's due date today. Oh, Steve. Last time I was next to a cut like this. Oh, you're so small. <laughs> Oliver's gonna be okay. Yeah. Right, well, I uh, better get back, let me. My mum know that he's okay. Thanks right. for letting me come. Steve's getting off if you want a lift. I'm gonna stay here tonight. Oh, stay and drink my tea, thanks. Uh, text me, let me know how he's doing. Yeah. Uh, tea. See ya. S so you were... You were gonna go with Steve today to the beach? You said you nearly asked him. I was just being pathetic and stupid. I would have understood if you talked to me. Even if you said that you wanted to do that. I right? didn't. All I'm saying is please, Michelle, trust me. Give me a chance to be there for you. You don't need to do any of this alone. Oh, thank God. News. Uh, yeah. All is okay. Great. I'm gonna get off. Can we go? I just wanna be at home, just us. Alright. Thought you'd be at the hospital. Come in. He's got it all planned. Steve. He's clever. Crafty. Again, Steve? Making out he's so concerned. Sitting next to that cot with Leanne, all cosy, playing the doting father. But he did it to Oliver deliberately. Look, I'm the one who's meant to be drunk. Even Steve wouldn't overdose a baby just to get back at you. You didn't know that. No, I think I do. Pretty sure you do and all. <sighs> Look, this paranoia. It'll finish you and Leanne. Seriously, you need to get a grip. Or you'll lose. Trust me.
God, what are you doing back? I wasn't expecting to see you. Oh, I'd had enough. They said he was fine to come home anyway. Well, I would have picked you up. I was just about to text. Oh, it's all right. I've got a cab. just wanted to get a shot of the place. OK, yeah. Uh, want a cup of tea? No, I'm fine. I've already had one. I just want to get me head down, to be honest. Oh, right. Well, uh... Nick, he really doesn't take that much discussion. Stop being such an old woman. Dum, 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 dum. Don't you think he's been through enough without you inflicting your singing on him? Oh. Took it tons better. I can't believe you let me sleep so late. Oh, I didn't realise I was your personal alarm clock. Clearly. But you appreciate the rest after everything you've been through. Do you know what I'd really appreciate, Nick? You giving it less of that. Hey, little man. You feeling better? I think you are, aren't you, eh? Oh, thank oh. God for that. Hey, uh, while you were sleeping, I was thinking, you know, we should, uh, we should do something nice, you know? Ring the changes. Like what? I don't know, uh, a naming ceremony for baby Oliver? Oh, no, I don't think so. Oh, why? Well, you're just asking for trouble, aren't you? Think about all the people you'd have to invite. Oh, come on. The way you brought him into this world wasn't straightforward. So stuff like this isn't going to be either. Be fine, really. Yeah. A naming ceremony? You mean a christening? Uh, it's not religious. Oh, would you be all right with, uh, you know, Steve having an invite? The same guy that you think tried to poison this one? Maybe. Maybe not. And do you still think he, uh... Maybe. Maybe not. What do you think about a naming sermon? Well, it depends whether you want an argument or an answer. <laughs> Quite happy to be deluded, thanks. All right, well, I think it's a great idea. <laughs> if I do a quick turnaround, it's up to him if he turns up or not. Why, when you're on about doing it? Now? <laughs> <laughs> He's just got to get his priorities right, isn't he? I'm going to ring my mate Paul. He's a celebrant. Well, I'm getting him to come now. Right, yeah. See if he can recommend anyone, duh. Don't duh me. <laughs> All right, I'll just sit and watch this one then, shall I? Uh, yeah, thanks. Yeah, I didn't know what she was up to, but what can I say? She's so determined. I'm sorry. The most upsetting thing is the stuff I'm accused of. I'm not sure that she's entirely convinced that I didn't do at least one of them. Oh, Peter. I mean, how am I supposed to convince other people of me innocence if I can't even get my girlfriend on side? You believe me, don't you? Yeah, of course I do. Well, I do now. You're a lot of things, Peter, but you don't beat up women and you don't attack old men. Same your sister doesn't have as much faith in me. I could go down for attacking two people that I didn't attack. And I did it all for a girl who doesn't even trust me. I need to talk to you. Oh, look, haven't we said everything we need to say? We've had a lifetime of talking. To be facetious. Well, that's my middle name, isn't it? David Facetious Platt. Guess which lucky baby's having a naming ceremony tomorrow. Mm. Hey. Yeah, well, no time like the present. Yeah, but I haven't got a hat. You spoke to a mate. You spoke to a mate. And hey, presto, got a celebrant. Oh, are we not going churchy? Mum, you're not religious. Oh, come on. No, no, but I mean, at the beginning of a journey. Yeah, eh? Well, doesn't a, a vicar or, or a priest add the occasion to some dignitas? Gravitas? Oh, Mum. Hey, look, you've got plenty of time to get out this afternoon, OK? And when I go to church, eh? It's the best tell Leanne. Ah, oh, better check my dresses clean. What? You making everything last minute so Steve can't come. Yeah, but I will invite him because I am a very nice man. Right, well, I need to be somewhere. David! Come on, boy. Oh, you, know, you still confuse me when you do that. Come on. Let's get out of here. Come on. Oh. Oh, dear. Hey. There you go. Right, it's rain. I thought you'd want to check for yourself. Hello, little guy. Oh, it's right as rain now, aren't you, fella? Yeah, no thanks to me. Hey, look, um, I think I was a bit hard on you yesterday. Oh, don't be daft. You know, the thought of the end thing. I get it. 
The stress levels are pretty high. Yeah, you know, thanks for bringing him in. It's all right, it's just a drive-by, really. Um, you know, after that near Brushwood disaster, we thought we'd better get on with the naming ceremony. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so we're going to do it tomorrow. Right. Oh, yeah, I know it's uh, a ridiculously short notice, but it's just going to be low-key, you know, nothing to write home about. Uh, we're not saying naming ceremony, that's a, a big grand, it's going to be very small. Um, no, obviously, we're still reeling from um, me nearly killing him. Come on, come on. Ancient history. You know what? I think I might give it a miss, mate. Yeah. Oh, OK. <laughs> yeah. Really? OK, well, if you're sure. No, you, well, you know, good luck with it. And uh, I hope it goes well, because I think you and Leanne deserve a break. OK. Oh. Right, little man, uh, I'll raise a glass to you tomorrow. Hey. Nice bit of footwork back there, Nick. I've got to hand it to you. You're not making any sense, Peter. You've been on the sauce again. Oh, why? Are you disappointed? No, I think indifference the worst. Yeah, right. That'll be the day. Steve's got every right to go to his own child's christening. Naming ceremony. He was very much invited. Not my fault he didn't fancy it. That wasn't an invite. That was a mind game, and you know it. Well, uh, always bow to you in that department, don't I? Oh, oh Trace. Oh, Trace. I've invited Steve, obviously. Oh, well done. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's about Oliver, isn't it? But uh, he's decided it's uh, it's not his thing. I don't know, maybe he's got a round of golf to play or something. What, he's not coming? No, he's going to sit it out, so uh, no McDonald's. Well, not even Liz. <laughs> no quack quack here, no quack quack there. Pity. So how was your day? Productive? Uh, yeah, so-so. Right, well, uh... Careful of the bowl, yeah. It's, uh, it's hot. It's hot. A replacement for Mr. Heffalump, by the way. Ah, well, fingers crossed he won't notice. <laughs> Must I have another Heffalump sequel? Uh, I can't believe what suddenly dawned on me today. What? Oh, I only twigged earlier. I feel like such a clown. I just remembered I saw Peter the night that Ken was attacked. Come again? Well, I only twigged today. The, the night that I saw him was, well, you know, that night. <laughs> You winding me up? No. You know, I'm sure the copper thought, oh, here we go, baby brain. Although, in fairness to me, it is a scientific fact that once you've had a baby, your brain does turn to mush. You told the police? Yeah, as soon as I realised, I was straight down there. Poor Peter, I feel so terrible. You know, I've been sitting on this alibi the whole time and I only just twigged. Twigged? You said. Fancy that. <laughs> yeah. You know, he's had it hanging over him this whole time, our tire and all. How can you be sure it's that nice? Well, because do you remember that night I went out for a meal with Jane? And when I got back, Oliver wouldn't settle, so I ended up pushing him up and down the street, and that's when I saw Peter sat at his window. Yeah, but even if you did glimpse Peter, it doesn't No, 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 I didn't glimpse him. He, he was sat there the whole time. Who else did you see? Anyone see you? <laughs> what is this, Nick? A cross-examination? <laughs> it's just, uh, it's a bit weird, isn't it, you know, after all this time? No, I, I know what I saw, and I know when I saw it. I'm just glad that I realised in time. If you say so. Straight in the eye and told me a bare faced whopper. Well, maybe she did see him. And his window? For all that time? Please. Yeah, I suppose it is a little bit weird that she's only just remembered now, I suppose. No, but Barlow put her up to her. You reckon? You think she'd do anything for a precious Peter? Saw him that night, sitting on his car, Clitheroe Drive, smoking a fag. What? Yeah. <laughs> That night. What, you saw him? Yeah, I was coming back for the wine merchant. And, and he never said all this time? Why should I throw Barlow in the lifeline? <laughs> Nicholas, you are a very dark boy. <laughs> I got no peace because of that hunched, self-pitying alky. He could have got banged up. Mm. Try me, River. <laughs> There's me thinking I'm unshockable. Well, nice guys come last, don't they? And I suppose you can't tell Leanne you know she's lying, because then she will know what a vindictive psycho you are. No offence. No. None taken. Do you think we should take him swimming at the weekend, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, it's good to start him young. I was 12 when I learned to swim. And that was only because our tire took me on a boat and lake on my birthday and pushed me in. OK, <laughs> this alibi for Peter. Oh, Nick, just forget about Peter. Concentrate on today and all of his naming ceremony. Special day for the three of us. Oh, Daddy. Please don't be grumpy, Daddy. <laughs> I know it's you. His lips aren't moving. 
Right, I'll go and get him ready. Why well, don't you get some scrambled eggs on the go, eh? Don't forget about Peter. Today's about us. Come on in. Let's get you dressed. <gasps> Should we get you dressed? Yes, let's get you dressed. Oh, hey. Hey, morning, mentor. Sounds like someone from a cult, that. <laughs> oh, you. It's a very important job. Like a godparent, but without the god bit. So, you all set for later? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Steve coming? Uh, no. Uh, no, he's not. <clears throat> well, probably for the best, eh? You must be over the moon now, you free man. Yes. Well, it's nice to be proven innocent rather than have everybody think the worst of you. Bit of luck, though, eh? Leanne seeing you at the flat window the night your dad was attacked. Yeah, it was. Thanks for that, Lee. Right. Gotta get back to the beast, Joe. Check everything's all right. See you later. Yeah. His little braces. <laughs> Do you like what I've done with Simon's hair? Mind you, there was enough on the salon floor to stuff a cushion. No, I think I preferred it before. I wonder if Michelle will be here. Can't be easy for her, can it, Paul Love? I mean, first losing her little one and then having to watch while Steve's other son gets christened. It's not a christening, it's a naming song. Oh. And to all intents and purposes, Nick is Oliver's dad, not Steve. Apart from biological. Oh, oh ma'am. Oh, well, come on. Leanne making out she's Simon's mum. Nick making out he's Oliver's dad. I mean, it's very hard keeping up, I'm telling you. Prosecco, ladies. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Nick, where are you? We're supposed to be starting. Where's Nick? Oh, that's a big question. I don't mean to pressure you, but I have a Star Wars themed naming ceremony at Two in Chorley, and I have to pick up my costume. <laughs> What's the kid called, Chewbacca? Luke. Chewbacca's his middle name. Uh, where's Nick? <laughs> Hey, we should get a T-shirt printed. Oh, shall I go check your flat? I've got a spare key on. Yeah. Do you want me to check the cafe in the pub? Well, why would he be in the pub? Well, mind you, nerves. Nerves? When I'm in a baby, not firing him out of a cannon. Yeah, maybe he's trying to warn Steve off. I don't know. Just try and find him, will you, please? I'll have a fizzy water, please, Liz. And... Oh, I'll go mad and order a bottle of beer. <laughs> You are doing really well, you know, when you're not drinking. Mm -hmm, thanks. I reckon if I want a drink, uh, I won't go in pubs at all. Yeah, but we do have so much more to offer than just booze, don't we? Like what? Atmosphere. Mm, yeah, there is that. Uh, positively electric in here, isn't it? Yeah, well, obviously, it's quiet today. There's no Rita or Norris yet. And, well... Audrey's usually in on the dot of noon for a G&T. <laughs> yeah, she's at the bistro. Michelle, Nick and I are regulars again. I am going to have words. Where is free country? Oh. Fuck a tonic, large. And don't bother taking up any room with a glass with ice and lemon out. Got patience. All right, girls. Busy morning, then. Do you know what? My feet haven't touched. I've been trying to get everything sorted for the Underworld anniversary party on Monday. And I haven't seen either her or your dad all day. He's not been working on the wedding? <laughs> See, heck, he hasn't got a clue. You know what fellas are like. Do you know, I was showing him all the different party favours for the tables the other day. Really lovely, some of them. Little candied almonds and gorgeous Belgian chocolates, you know, the sort of thing. Mm, bet you love that. And he says, why don't we give the wedding favours the heave-ho and just put a lottery ticket under everybody's plate. Lottery tickets? Exactly. Well, at least he's getting involved. Involved? Can you imagine? I mean, come on, doesn't even come close. I said, why don't we go the whole hog? Scrap the caterers and just have a massive trough of chicken nuggets running down the middle of the room. <laughs> so he's not been helping with the planning at all, then? No chance. Have you seen Nick? He's gone AWOL. Sorry, love, no. Safe? Uh, yeah, you can put the kettle on, could you, Mum? Something wrong with your legs? Yeah, he's supposed to be at Oliver's naming ceremony at the bistro, and he's just gone missing. Would I be able to have this? Oh, yeah, I've got zillions. Naming ceremony? What are you doing? They're all ready to start. Let them get on with it. No one cares if I'm there or not. What are you talking about? You're Oliver's dad. Yeah, but I'm not, am I? 
Nothing to Oliver. Nothing to Simon. Nothing to Leanne. Just a big pile of nothing. I don't believe this. Your son, my grandson, is getting christened and you didn't even tell me. Oh, it's not exactly a christening. It's... I don't care what it is. We should be there. I'm going to make a dignified exit. What? Oh, you knew all this. Yeah, of course it did all work. Oh, you thought it best, did you? Best for who? For me? Or for that little baby who's going to be that confused growing up? Well, he'll have fun doing his family tree at school anyway. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause trouble. No, Sarah. You didn't cause any trouble. In actual fact, you've done me a favour because right now I am going to go upstairs, get changed, and me and my son are going to that naming ceremony or whatever heck they call it. Stall him or something so I can figure out a way out so I'll him up. Well, I don't know, just do it, all right? Nick. Look, why don't you come sit down? Maybe it's your head just messing with your perceptions. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing wrong with my head. Leanne's restaurant receipt for the night she told the police she saw Peter. She's lying. Look at the time. Why is this matter now? I'm supposed to be celebrating tonight. But she's willing to risk prison to save Barlow's skin. She's put him ahead of me again. And Oliver too. You can't just not turn up. Yeah, you wouldn't understand. Do you know how lucky you are? You have a successful business, a woman you love, a kid. It's not enough for you, is it? You constantly have to pick it like your relationship is some sort of scab. You won't be happy until you've pushed everything away, including Leanne. Happiness is wasted on someone like you. Do you know, call me daft. But when they said naming ceremony, I thought it meant that we were all going to have to choose the baby's name. Like a vote. Oh, a dartboard with different names in it and we all get through. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, love. Uh, have you heard from David? Uh, apparently, Nick's not coming. Is he OK? He's drunk. What did she tell you? She says he's drunk. Did you find him? Uh, he's, he's not very well. Well, he was all right this morning. Where is he? He's over at the flat. He's been sick. He says, just carry on without him. Well, it's a big day for Oliver there. Yeah, I I'm going to call him. No, Mum, what did I say? He's ill, right? Just leave it. Yes, come on now. Uh, let's uh, let's just relax, have a little drink, and then uh, wait half an hour, and maybe um, he'll feel fine. Well, we can't, can we? Because the celebrant's got to leave in about 20 minutes. Why? Because she's got a Star wars theme naming ceremony in Charlie. All oh, right, I only asked. No need to be sarcastic. Hey up, late arrival. What are they doing here? Well, thanks very much for my invite. Steve said you didn't want to come. Yeah, I... I and who's he? My social secretary. Oh, I'm really disappointed in you, Leah. <laughs> Nick is Oliver's father. Really? Well, I tell you what, I think a little lady called Mother Nature might have something to say about that. You're just shut up. My real mum died. Doesn't make Leanne any less than my real mum. Kids aren't objects. They're not prizes that you win at a raffle. Out of the mouths of babes. Oh, shut up. Right, come on, let's just get on with it, shall we? And what about Nick? Well, he's not here, is he? For whatever reason, so come on. Wedding for Sounds like you wanted to marry this creep. No, I'm just really glad that she's actually answering the calls and wants to spend some time together. You know, she sounded really keen. Who's that? No, it's fair. She's over at Kevin's. Well, there you go. I told you it'd blow over. Yeah, I might just pop over, actually, make sure she's OK. Is that all right? OK. Save fromage! Fromage! Oh. Yeah. Hey, Gail. Do you want a photo with Ola? No, I'll wait my turn. Thank you. Look at her. 
Everybody walks in now. They'll think it's a party for us. Oh, Gail. Blame Nick, not Liz. More bubbly, Andre. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't be more bubbly, Robert. <laughs> Simon gone back to school. Yeah, uh, listen, can you just keep an eye on Oliver for a bit? Yeah, of course. Where are you going? I'm going to go and find out why Nick's behaving like a grown-up schoolboy. I don't about bringing Oliver up as your own and then you can't even be bothered to turn up to his big day. <sighs> don't be so dramatic. You know, all the earache that I got about the birth certificate and now this. I know you didn't see Peter that night. Oh, for God's sake, Nick, do we have to go through this again? I know you were with Jane. You and Oliver till 8.30. Yeah, well, the time on the card machine must have been wrong oh, because I know what's on. Oh, save your breath. <laughs> yeah, you could go down for this if the police find out you're lying. You wonder what kind of man misses his own kid's naming ceremony. Well, what kind of woman, what kind of mother risks prison, risks abandoning her baby to give her cheating, lying, alcoholic ex a false alibi? You get arrested for this and come running to me. Oh, Nick, can you just grab me phone for me? Oh. Well. Oliver's got his jabs today. Oh, thank God the modern these days and they send you text to remind you. You forgot. Well, I've had a lot on. The naming ceremony for a start. Giving false alibis to your exes. Oh, for God's sake, Nick, can we just forget about that? The police won't if they find out. Well, they won't find out, will they? I did. What if they check what time you left the restaurant? <laughs> well, why would they do that? Look, I know you're angry, and I'm not proud of myself, if I'm honest, but Peter Simon's dad, I did it to protect my son. Well, you've got two sons now. And if you go down for this, you'd be abandoning them both. Smart move. Are we ready? Yes, we are. We're ready. No! No! Oh, oh thank God. Oh. How did you manage to lock yourself out? Well, I was going out, my phone rang, and then I left my keys on the side, and then the door shut. Okay, well, you just need to be more careful next time, hey? But you're frightened, weren't you? Come on, Nick, I need to go. I'm late for the doctors. Okay, I'll just get him settled. It's all right. It's all right, Daddy. It's okay. Yeah. Sorry we were late. I know how busy you were. Not to worry. I know how difficult it is to get out of the house with a baby. Yeah, tell me about it. So, is that it? Yeah. All done. Oh, he's a bonny lad. <laughs> is he feeding all right? Yeah, yeah, he's feeding really well. Sleeping? Uh, well, he has his moments. <laughs> I meant you. Motherhood can be quite the eye-opener. Well, at my age, you mean? I mean at any age. No, I'm sleeping fine. Well, until he wakes up. <laughs> Can't keep my eyes open past nine o'clock most of the time. I hope Dad's doing his share. Yeah. Yeah, he's doing brilliantly, actually. <laughs> so he really is fine, then? Yes. Why? Are you worried about something? I just... I just feel like I'm a wrong mum. <sighs> if I had a pound for every time I'd heard that, I'd be floating on a lilo in Barbados around now. <laughs> there. Oh, beautiful boy. <laughs> Go on, you know you do. Hey, what's happening? Oh, nothing. Right, that's it. You're coming home with me, no argument. It's not Oliver, is it? No, no, he's doing great. The doctor heaped loads of praise on me like I deserve it. Of course you do. You're a brilliant mum. <sighs> How can you say that? when I was prepared to risk going to prison to give Peter a false flipping alibi. I mean, what was I thinking? Uh, hang on, where's all this coming from? You're only trying to help. Yeah, him and not my own son. I mean, I'm no good to him if I'm going to prison, am I? Look, don't worry if you are not going to prison. Yeah, well, even if I don't, the point still stands, doesn't it? I put him before my own son. <sighs> Nick's right, what kind of mother does that? But hang on, Nick said that. He's no right. <sighs> well, he's every right because it's true, isn't it? <sighs> 
No, do you know what? I'm not having this. He only said that because he can't stand Peter. Will you stop defending me? You know what? I even forgot Oliver's jabs today. And then I locked myself out of the flat with Oliver inside. If it hadn't been for Nick, I don't know what I would oh, have done. Oh, and I bet he made sure you grovelled, didn't he? Oh, for God's sake, Lee, is it any wonder your mind's all over the place? You've got two kids to look after. No one's perfect, including Nick. So just stop letting him beat you up. Do you hear me? What the hell do you think you're playing at? Sorry? I found all the Annie in bits today because of what you've done to her. <laughs> I really don't know what you're talking about. I'm trying to make her feel rotten, calling her a bad mother. Oh, right, if this is about her giving your boyfriend a false alibi. She was thinking of Simon. Yeah, well, she obviously wasn't thinking of Oliver, was she? <laughs> Rubbish. No, what you mean is she wasn't thinking of you. Because that's what this is all about, isn't it, eh? You and your petty little insecurities. No, you might act like Mr. Nice Guy. Oh, oh, look, aren't I so noble taking on two other men's kids? But deep down, it eats away at you, doesn't it? I... Really got things I need to be getting on with. Now I've seen the way you look if she so much as mentions Peter or Steve. I mean, basically, you just wish they didn't exist, don't you? Well, do you know what, Nick? Tough. Because Peter's not going anywhere, and neither, I'm guessing, is Steve. So you're just gonna have to grow up and get used to it. And as for bullying oh, my sister. Uh, bullying? Oh, you might not have hit her like last time, but it still counts as abuse. <laughs> Right, OK. Counselling session over, is it? Just one last thing. You take it out on her again and you'll have me to deal with. Got it? <laughs>